guys in this video we'll be looking at roles of individual citizens businesses and the government in the integration process okay so what we'll be looking at first is individual citizens okay and the things that are expected of them within society within um in regards to the integration process okay so let's get it on moving on first entrepreneurship Second, employees as citizens within the society. Third, supporting regional producers. Fourth, investment in local and regional businesses. Fifth, solidarity with regional neighbors. Sixth, being informed. Okay, what we're going to be looking at, we're going to be looking at these in details. Okay, or in detail rather. Okay, moving on to entrepreneurship. Okay, entrepreneurship. This can be defined as the process of discovering new ways of combining resources. Okay, let me explain that to you. Okay, entrepreneurs are individuals who establish and run business ventures. All countries need such individuals, right? No, because they are, you know, important producers of economic activity. And, you know, depending on the kind of ventures they establish, are sometimes able to provide a number of employment opportunities. Now, individuals who have, you know, ideas for new businesses look for the possibilities offered by new rules and regulations. For example, you know, the free movement of goods and labor and capital right now they also seek to understand how their business will engage with the rest of the world okay so that is an um, entrepreneur for you right okay so moving on next to employees right so who are these people no employees are persons you know they are they are hired to provide services to you know a company on a regular basis in exchange for wages or salary okay now citizens um employees as citizens need to commit to making you know the most of their potential now this will help them to lead a fulfilled life but will also mean that they develop skills and experience that will help them to make a contribution to the region as, you know, as a um, part of the workforce, right? As employees, individual citizens also need to ensure that they are as productive as possible, okay? So, moving on to supporting regional producers. Okay, who are regional producers? Now, regional producers are persons who produce products and services for regional consumption within the region, okay? For example, Guyana produces rice for the region, okay? All right. Now, let me tell you what this means um, in detail. Now, in a globalized business environment, individual citizens can choose to buy products and services from around the world. Now, if Caribbean citizens deliberately choose to purchase from regional producers and serve, you know, service providers, this will help these businesses to prosper and grow, okay? So that's supporting regional producers. Okay, moving on to investment in local and regional businesses, right? Now, investing in local and regional businesses um no individual citizens um first before we look at all of that we're going to look at first what do we mean by investment because most persons don't know okay no this is the act of investing laying out money or capital in an enterprise with expectation of profit no individual citizens can also choose to invest in local and regional businesses Rules regarding the free movement of capital and the right to establish are intended to encourage such investment. Okay? All right. Don't think that was hard to understand. Okay. So, moving on to 
solidarity with regional neighbors. What does solidarity mean? Okay, solidarity is a unity um, or agreement of feeling or action, especially among individuals with a common interest. Okay, what do we mean by this? Now, the regional integration process is slow moving, right? Now, part of the reason for this is the struggle that people in government have in relation to the delegation of powers from a national to a regional body. Now, understandably, national governments wish to retain certain powers over, you know, like policy making decisions that affects the lives of citizens in their own country. Now, regional integration is not about each country giving up all its powers and losing its identity. Rather, it is about striking the correct balance of, you know, retaining control over national issues while recognizing the benefits of um, having some, you know, decision made and procedures carried out at a regional level, right? An example of a regional level dec um, decision making body would be the, like the uh, trade negotiation, um, right? Office of Trade Negotiation right, which is an OTN, okay? Now, citizens can also assist the process of integration by welcoming those persons who take advantage of the free movement of labor in order to find, you know, work in another country. Now, the idea of Caribbean nationals being able to take their skills to another country within the region where those skills are needed should be welcomed. And that's what we mean by solidarity with regional neighbors. Okay? All right. So moving on to being informed. Now, this is one of the most important things um, thing, um, in regards to individual citizens. Okay? Being informed. Very important. All right. This is the act of being aware and privy to information. Okay? Now, regional integration has perhaps been, you know, the most important item on the political agenda since the era of independence, right? Now, it is a notion that has far-reaching implications for governments, right? Now, in terms of powers and structures, uh, um, and for many other areas of life, including legislation, health, education, and business. Given that it is, um, it has this level of importance, it is a responsibility of individual citizens to make sure that they are inf well informed, you know, about aims, objectives, and pro uh, processes of the integration movement. So information is very important, right? Be informed at all times, right? Very important. Okay, I think that um, you got that. <laughs> All right, so moving on. Role of business organization, right? Now, what do we mean by this? Okay, just like what we look at um, the role of citizens, individual citizens, we're now going to look at role um, of roles of business organizations within society in regards to integration process okay so business organizations first up we're going to look at improving competitiveness improving choice and quality integrated operations and investment and employment now these are the roles of business organization within society okay First, we're going to look at improving competitiveness. What do we mean by competitiveness? Okay, competitiveness pertains to the ability and performance of a firm, subsector, or country to sell and supply goods and services in a given market. Okay, in relation to the ability and performance of other firms, subsectors, or countries in the same market. Okay. Now, Caribbean countries generally have a low level of productivity. This means that the amount of input or production costs in capital and labor, for example, 
does not generate a particularly high level of output. While governments and agencies can introduce policies that are favorable to businesses, it is the responsibility of each of those businesses to make sure that their, opera um, their operations are you know, run efficiently and that they can be competitive. Okay? All right. So moving on to improving choice and quality. What do we mean by this? Improving can be defined as the aim to bring into a more desirable or excellent condition. Okay. Now, consumers do not make their choices solely on, you know, price and part of the process of competition between businesses is offering choice and quality. Right? Now, if regional producers are hoping to encourage local consumers right to buy like local products then they have to ensure that the quality and the choice matches that offered you know by producers from outside the region because that's competition okay so you have to take care of your you know quality and your brand right okay now producers also have to consider how their products can compete on the global market especially following the loss of you know preferential trade agreements Okay, so that's what we mean by improving choice and quality. All right, so moving on to integrated operations. What is this? This is getting industries to come on, um, to uh, come together with, uh, you know, with the same, sorry. This is getting industries with common interests to come together, right? All right, that's basically. Now, the private sector could also, you know, consider, you know, developing industries in, you know, clusters with others that share complementary interests, right? Particularly those concerned with extra-regional exports, right? Next, they could also, you know, consider applying pressure for, you know, infra infrastructure and policy frameworks that you know fit the production capabilities you know of different countries also pushing for the contributing um to our to you know for and contributing towards the upgrading of regional infrastructures especially regarding transport and communication okay so that's it for integrated operations all right so moving on to last but not least investment and employment what is this no this is basically focusing on investment and employment within the region that can eventually lead to gaining revenue through tax okay all right now business organization own and manage economic entities which provide for economic activity now the economic activity involves commercial transactions but also leads to employment and provision of personal income, which generate tax revenues. Okay? Now, most businesses look for growth. Growth involves increasing production, perhaps expanding their, you know, premises or moving to a larger, you know, moving to larger ones and, you know, adding people to the workforce, right? Now, all of this requires investment, both from company you know, company profits and from outside the company, right? Now, regulations regarding the free movement of capital are aimed at making it easier for people to invest in business opportunities within the region, regardless of national boundaries. Okay, guys, um, that's it for my video. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys understood um, everything that I um, just explained to you. And if you like my video, you can give it a thumbs up. You can um, subscribe, subscribe, you know. And for those who subscribe to me, I'm going to tell you very much. I appreciate it. Okay. All right. And for those who haven't yet subscribed, it is very important for you to subscribe in order to see the next video that is coming out. Because you have to watch all the videos to 
get a full understanding of the um, subject okay especially if you're doing your csec exams okay now you can also leave a comment in the comment section um telling me what it is you don't understand and i'll see if i can explain it to you okay okay guys thanks for watching bye